you're not allowed to drink here because you change. He saw and said, they are from my father. He said, yes, but they changed your way. We need to know his way, as well as said. His life is still a sunnah and follow in it, so we will be with those who drink from his hand. He is the first of all the humans to come back to life on the day of judgment. The first one to see the back. Alhamdulillah, he is the carrier of the banner of praise of Allah. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. He is the one with a special status that's due for only one person from amongst all the humans and all the prophets. And he is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who gained and gained that status. We are talking about the person and then he put Hadlahu as Sama. Fawtaqa wa ala Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He just said he will me. This is the person who was taken above the skies and into the skies and into Jannah and he saw what's in there with his body and with his, with his soul as he was alive in the journey of Islam and Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he was taken into this journey, not only the people of earth, no man, angels in the skies, no man. Now in the Lord, the first sky, who is that? The angel, the guardian in the first sky is asking, this is Jibreel who is with you, this is Muhammad. Oh, is he a prophet? Did he become a prophet already? Yes, they know him. And they open for him. Jannah will not open and it is illegal to open for anyone before Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa When he gets into the, into the doors of Jannah and he knocks with his head, Muhammad, the guardian of Jannah will say, Bika, umirtu alla afta ala al -tabi. I was commanded to open to no one before you sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is your prophet. This is our beloved. This is our messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Maqam, he is not, he's no way he's compared to any human being. Maybe to some prophets, he is the highest of status even amongst the prophets. There is no way we can compare him to a leader or a president or a reformer. Every human being, when it comes to talk about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is down there. Yet he is still special. In the Russia, we do a human being, but he is the number one human being chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we talk about him, even when we compare him to angels, we can talk about this forever. Jibreel is accompanying Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and asking permission to go from one side to the next, to the next, until it gets to a point where Jibreel himself, the angel, this is the archangel, this is the main angel, the Ruh, al -Qudus. He said, my status is up to here. I have permission to go only up to here. This is my limit. I cannot go any further. If you go, you will pass. If I go, I will burn. His status is higher than Jibreel, even Jibreel, Now, we're not talking about just mere incidents and stories when we talk about this life. We're talking about a life that was set as an example. If you want to be successful in this life, and if you want to win the hereafter and into Jannah, just look at this life, the life of that person, of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, both as individuals and as communities and as nations at large. Look at the Muslims nowadays, and they, want to, they don't want to talk much about this. Is that the same woman that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught? Is that the Ummah that Allah described as Kuntum Khaira Ummah in Ufrij al Nas? You are the best of nations to be set out for people. What we are talking about is 60 plus countries, Muslim countries. 60 plus, or majority Muslims. And most of them are fighting against one another. And most of them are killing one another about borders, about ethnicities, about races. It's not, when we talk about the seerah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that doesn't relate. This is something wrong. And we want to judge others. When we look at the communities, Muslims getting together, even at, at times of freedom here, see issues. No. We need to talk about the seerah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and we need to embrace the seerah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The seerah and the light of the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. People in Medina, we talked about this in the last few weeks, past few weeks, they are fighting one another. The very people of Medina. 
And now you're added to them a totally different component, people from different cities, different culture. But he managed, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to put them all together. Mu'athabi and Mu'ajina wa Ansar, they will all come to the masjid, they will all be here as one woman. That's what his life, that's what his legacy, that's what his teachings, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, are giving us, what he's giving us. That's what we should learn from him, alayhi wa sallam. Yes, the Quran has spoken the truth, and yes, this Quran is the best. Only if we believe in Allah and follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But if we do not believe in Allah as we should do, or if we believe in Allah but faith in our way, we don't follow the example of Muhammad, then we won't be the best woman. And we see it with our eyes. And I'm not saying this to say to, to spread frustration. No, we just need to reflect and think and ponder over all of this and relate to his life as some this is where we need his guidance, I saw the And he guides I saw the Sadam whether he was alive or after his life on earth. He still guides. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we believe in this, and we have the opinion in this, we have certainty that His promise is going to come true. In Allah, is that way of Allah has made earth all look like, you know, Google Earth, all in front of me. And I saw the east and west, and there's no corner, no place, no house on earth except that Allah will bring His faith into it. Faith will reach east and west, and whatever Allah will be in other tents, people who live in tents, people who live in high tents. And we see it's happening. Now the victory, the Issa, the dignity of this woman has been read in history. Where is it? Yes, traces of it is still remaining, but it's all upon us after believing in the promise of Allah, looking at the seal of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, We heard this on the seal, we heard and believed in the promise. This woman being the voice. From his life, you look at him, Ali Sallallahu and the believers when they were digging the trench around Medina, and we talked about this in Ghazal al Ahzab, the Confederates of the trench battle, all these people came to attack Medina, and the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't know what to do, so man suggested it's to get trench, so we don't have, you know, avoid them, we don't have to fight. And it happened. As they were digging, they came across a huge rock. What should we do? They called the leader. Muhammad Alaihi Wasallam is coming and he's hitting it three hits, and he was enough, he was so strong and supported by the miracles of Allah. What did he say? Allah, what was the first hit? Sparkles coming out. I see the lights, I see the I see serious palaces are opening for us Muslims. I see Yemen, and Yemen becoming a Muslim. I see Paris, Persia becoming a Muslim. What? Are you telling us this when we Muslims? That's what the hypocrite said. The Habakkuk said, we cannot, we don't feel even safe to even go and use the restroom. It's like they are besieged by people from all around them. For believers, this is what Allah and His Messenger has promised us. Allah and His Messenger has always say and promise the truth. We believe in it. At times of test, believers still believe in the promise. That this woman is victorious and this woman will be victorious. They have this yaqeen for the this the, the hypocrites. They said, Ma Allah Allah Rasulullah will be the Lord. It's all like delusion. What Allah and His Messenger are promising us to rule this life, this years and go everywhere is nothing but delusion. That's what the hypocrites dealt with the wa'ah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the promise of Allah, the promise of the message. So we should have the wa'ah, especially at those times. When we are so many, but SubhanAllah, we're, we know what's going on with Muslims everywhere. Number two, in order for us to change, after believing in the promise, after having certainty, is we should work. We should realize that it's not on the Imam, it's not on the leaders of Muslims' uh, countries and events, it's, it's on me. Me, and I say me, not in him or her. What did I do? And I'm not even talking big, yeah, I have to go and change the word. Don't change the world. These are these are big words. I'm telling you, change yourself. What did you do with your life? Did you look at the guidance of Muhammad and make it change your life? Because this is what if you change your life, you will change the world. Muhammad is this is one person in Mecca, darkness all over, 
people worship the stones, people kill one another, and then he is bringing the truth to them, being rejected, persecuted. And fast forward 10, 15 years, 20 years, all of them are Muslims. And the bordering countries are Muslims. And now, a few years or a few decades after that, the whole world, you go all the way to India and all the way to Europe. Muslims. That's the dignity of Islam. Believing in the uncertainty, the being in the promise of Allah and working. Abu Dardak is working. Roma and Abu Bakr are all working. So, what is my responsibility? Your responsibility is very simple and easy. Look at the Sunnah, look at the light of Muhammad Sallam, and take the light from there. Look at his life. Simple, as simple as that. As a businessman, as a father, as a teacher, as a young person, as a because this is one of the, the, the beautiful things about his life. Well, he has some agenda. Yeah, and sometimes he is a victorious leader. And another time he was just like a refugee. He doesn't have anywhere to go. You see him crying there, being rejected by his own town. And one other time he is you see him poor and, 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 and hungry at a time that he would have to tie not one but two stones on his stomach, super hungry. And other times he's having gold left and right. And he's super rich at his salam, giving the money left and right. You will see the example in the life of Muhammad Ali his salam. And he did it in a very simple way. Nothing is complicated. You don't have to study books and goes. Look at his life and go as simple as he did Ali Salaam. Being faced with challenges and issues and problems at home with his own people. From his own communities, from his own followers sometimes, he's dealing with terrorists. He's dealing with people who reject him and do not believe in his sin. And he's dealing with people who pray right behind him. Ali is dealing with everybody, but his deal was exemplary Ali Salaam. That's 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 the, the, the marvelous thing about his seal Ali Salaam. From signing trees to dealing with a little child at the masjid or around the masjid, you will see him, alayhi you will see the example in the life of Muhammad, alayhi We just need to find our role and do it. We, we, we don't want to come to this life in order to have a little taqlif wa We don't want to come just to be bored live our life just for ourselves and our desires, eating, drinking, and then we go to the grave, we live this life just as another human, another human being. That's not Muslims. Muslims who come for a mission, our mission is to live on the example of Muhammad as and hopefully spread it. Just share it, spread it. You don't have to be in conferences. You don't have to have big, just spread it in the nicest way, in the easiest way. Spread it through your thoughts, through your actions. We need to see People around us need to see this land. We need, our kids need to see this land on us. We are talking about classes and this and that. Yes, all of that is important. But you know what? If kids, if your kids see this land on you, they will be excited to become Muslims. Good Muslims. They just need to see it on you. So it's our challenge to just work it ourselves. If we want to change our kids and our communities and our society, just take the lead. And the initiative to change our life and how do we change it? Shall we go this way or that way as nations? The Ummah has, has tried in the past hundred years everything. Shall we go capitalism, communism? Shall we go after those people, democracy or this? Why do we go after the Bible? When the Nabi said, there are two people, why not that to you? Man and the song to be something that if you hold firm to it, you will never go deviant after me. The Book of Allah and my Sunnah. The book of Allah and his suicide, which is a reflection of the implementation of the book of Allah. That's what we and why we study the Sirah and we mention the, the life and legacy of Muhammad to know him, to believe in him even more, to follow in his, in his footsteps, to hold firm in his ways and finally to spread that. By the way, many of us, if not all of us, are really doing that. We just need to do a little better. We don't want to go average. If we do better, we have people coming to accept Islam. And we have people being amazed by us as we are with our problems. I see that you see the doctors who are working here, people see Islam. And Allah, my neighbor the other day, she said, send salam to 
Dr. Nahas is a lot better than I worked with him for years. People work with Muslims, people see Muslims, we need to tell them, we need to make sure. And be also complete, not just in one direction. Be complete Muslims, not in the masjid, not in one area, but then in the other area where we need to follow Muhammad as was an example, he was perfect in all the directions and dimensions. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all on his footsteps and love Muhammad as well as and may Allah, may Allah make his life the fullness of our life. Allah may be the good of the other stuff that Allah will be the stuff that Allah will be the good of the Lord.
or the Hadith in our hearts of Muhammad sallallahu and the Deen and the life of Muhammad sallallahu and the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu and the Quran before all that came from Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. the Muslim 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 Muslim